My name is Asaf Raz, and what do I do? If you ask me like this, I'm always going to tell you I'm a surfer. What do I do for a living? That's a different question. These four walls are what used to be the Zephyr shop, which is a famous uh, surf shop that was here in the 70s. If you look at our mission statement, it starts with the sentence, preservation of history through localism. The preservation of history relates to the Dogtown history, which we pay homage to, we pay tribute to. When this opportunity came about to do something about in this corner, I stood on the other side of the building right over there. At that moment, an epiphany just came in. Coffee shop that will take the history and everything all in the one. So what we did in the beginning was important for us to find a roaster, which we found a local roaster up in, a, in the valley that can partner with us about creating blends that are unique to this store. We went for the simple view of let us find, let's fine tune drip coffee espresso and we're done. There's much to be admired when you look at big companies that many times we frown upon. It takes a lot to be able to duplicate. You know, I went to Bangkok and there was a Starbucks there and you just walked in. It was exactly the same cup of coffee like you would have right down in the street. That's not to be discredited, that's huge. The main idea is that in this shop is that the labor come first. The method that we chose was to basically learn each task ourselves from the ground up and each time that we finish the task, we would hire so we can train for that specific role. It was basically a staggering, like in steps uh, training in which you do as you say. So our staff was able to, to feel from day one that I'm not asking something that I don't know that can be done or that I haven't done myself. We purposely stayed away from doing the part-time game and rather focused on full-time employment. So somebody that can actually come here and work and actually pay their bills. So putting their well-being, both their financial and physical, was the first level of what we're doing. The way we handle accounting or any other thing in this company um, is with the thinking of how do you run 50 and 100 stores. That's the thinking on everything. Although it's a tiny little operation, if you look at the vehicles that we put to handle our very thing, they can just as easily handle 50 and 100 stores. When you look at your brand, the question is, where do you see your brand going? Our brand has two parts to it. There's the Dogtown coffee, and then there's the DTC, the, the symbol. The branding is bigger than the coffee. So the idea was to diverge from day one into a non-coffee related world, because that is really what transcends here, is the cultural. The branding was about how do you take a piece of history and you bring it back to the public. So basically the whole idea behind our shirts, our hat, uh, and our soon to become our surfboards and everything, if you notice, the DTC mark is what you really see on that. Because we're transcending into the world that we're deriving the culture from. We are about to take this flag to surf, snowboard, and skateboard communities nationally and internationally. One of the biggest, biggest challenges as a business owner is the fact that the buck stop is at your door. There's no pretending that somebody is above you is going to carry it and you can sleep. So at 4 a.m. when the phone calls, you're the one to answer the phone. You know, whether your business is doing excellent or challenge, the joy of doing what you feel like doing, man, you know, you wake up in the morning and you stroll into a dream come true. And the whole idea of localism. We took a term that usually in surfing is kind of negative. Uh, you, know, it's, you know, it's about warding off people. We took it and reversed it, where it's about inclusion. 